currently, with how things sit in the AFC West, there is a lot going on. You got the Raiders leading the way at five and two, uh, and the Traders, uh, Chargers, excuse me, bringing up the trailer, if you will, a good transition maybe uh, at four and two, and then you got the Chiefs at three and four, and the Broncos at three and four. So I may be going out on a limb here. I'm okay with that because. Sometimes you got to bring up the weird stuff that nobody else wants to talk about, or at least the stuff that maybe people didn't think about. With the Las Vegas Raiders being on their bye this week, I think that puts a lot of pressure on a certain team. Yes, it is the Los Angeles Chargers, because right now the Chargers just had their bye week. You've got Justin Herbert, who I think is playing at a a very high level, completing roughly 65% of his passes for over 1,770 yards, 14 touchdowns, four interceptions, also has uh, 21 carries for 72 yards and a touchdown. I think with what is going on specifically with the Chargers right now, who find themselves coming off a loss to the Ravens pretty convincingly, by the way, who, by the way, are... Um, you know, I got to be honest with you. I think with what happened recently with the Ravens uh, against the Cincinnati Bengals was a little bit of a shock, but we'll get past that for a second because back to more of the subject here of the Los Angeles Chargers. I think the Chargers need to win this week. Absolutely. Um, against the Patriots and the, the Patriots are no slouch of a team. They just took um, the, the Cowboys not too long ago all the way to the wire and um, the Patriots are honestly a tough team right now and I expect them to continue to be a tough team um, you know and I, I think at the end of the day uh, you know when you look at the, the Patriots who are currently second place in the AFC East you know there's this could have some major implications uh, obviously for the Patriots but uh, or excuse me obviously for the Chargers but the Patriots too are are in this as well they could definitely make some noise uh, and I think if you're the Chargers who at one time were leading the division and I think if uh, you know I Obviously, the big win against the Raiders earlier in the season helped them out. But if we're being honest, the Chargers not only need a win here to kind of keep up momentum, but also keep themselves relevant in the division, relevant in the AFC, uh, because obviously the Chargers are one of the most talented teams in the entire AFC. And I think a a win here against a talented AFC East team in the Patriots would do them a lot of good. And and quite frankly, like I said, they need the win right now. Um, You know, and they need to definitely need to bounce back against uh, well, from that game against the Ravens, because I think this is too talented of a team to go out like that, 34 to six against the Ravens. It's too talented of a team to, you know, be four and two right now. Honestly, I, th- I get you. Know, you lose in the NFL every week, but this is just too talented of a team to, uh, you know, be second place in the AFC West right now. It's the Raiders and Chargers, um, you know, and I think those are the clearly right now are the top two teams in the AFC West. Uh, and especially in the AFC, definitely top five teams, uh, or at least two of the top five teams in the AFC uh, altogether. I think there's a lot of good teams, but I think those two teams um, have a solid quarterback. Their defenses are coming together. Um, you see just a lot of good things um, from, uh, you know, Rich Basaccia and also, um, you know, the head coaching staff, uh, sorry, the head coach uh, of the Chargers, Brandon Staley. Now, I do think it does come down to, uh, again, uh, it does come down to a lot with the Chargers. Now, um, they have to, honestly, they have to continue to establish the run game. They have to they have to play off the back or play off the momentum of Justin Herbert. But I think that this is too talented. Again, too talented of a team. I probably said it six times because this team is truly talented. Out of the entire NFL, I would say it has a top 10 roster right now um, with the guys they've got playing right now. I mean, and Staley's done a great job, especially in his first year as head coach from a, a guy that... Uh, you know, from a team rather that last year won their last four games during the regular season and and did a lot um, to really uh, kind of set things up and uh, get them in the right spot moving forward. So no, I expect Brandon Staley uh, to continue to move this team in the right spot, uh, move them in the right direction, as well as Justin Herbert. I expect him to continue playing at a high level um, and keep put, making the Chargers relevant. But I still think it comes back. They need a win against the Patriots because I think that this this game has a lot of implications. Because if they lose, you know, you go down to four and three in the the, the Raiders. Uh, and then obviously you probably will bounce back against the Eagles. But I think at the end of the day, you know, with the Raiders having their bye week this week and then going to play the Giants, I, I would, I'm not a wagering man, but if I was, I would say that was, that's, that's, a, that's probably a win for the Raiders uh, because the Giants, um, it, despite them being very talented, I, I think that they um, are in kind of a downward spiral right now. And I think the Raiders could definitely, or projected and rightfully so, to win that game. So they need to, they need to win to keep up with the Raiders. 
and they need to win um, to keep the AFC West and the entire AFC competitive. So I think the Chargers definitely need that win. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Uh, check out our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com in the description down below uh, you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there and uh give us a listen and uh sub on itunes and finally if you have anything you'd like us to cover make sure you guys uh send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would be glad to cover but let us know what you guys think about the los angeles chargers needing a win